Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I would just like to once again give a shout out to the tickets started on sale for the YouTube charity match that I'm taking part in in August. The link is in the top line of the description. Do your best to get a ticket. Be there August 19th. It'll be a good laugh. But today's video focusing on the Champions League qualifying draw, qualifying round draw, an extra round for Celtic, of course, this year, which I will come on to talk about. Um, but their team has been drawn and we are heading over to our main um, for our first qualifying round to take on FC Alashkert, something, something like that. We're heading over to play them anyway, they are the Armenian champions, they've actually won the Armenian Premier Division three years in a row. So the best team in Armenia, but at the end of the day in a round like this, and especially it being a round earlier, it's a team we should be easily disposed of. And a team we should be beating with ease. Now, obviously, I say that. Uh, and two years ago, we went to Gibraltar and got beat off of Lincoln Redimps. Um, let's try and forget about that. But, you know, we go through with ease in these rounds. And, and that's why it's going to be a more kind of short video. There's not much I could say. There's no really any profile to the team that I could talk about and talk about any of the players. Because, quite literally, they are unknown. I've never heard of them. Saying that, they beat St. Johnson a couple of years ago in Europa League qualifiers. Um, but they are nothing special. The, 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 the furthest I've ever got is the second qualifying round for the Champions League in Europe. So, you know, with magnitudes, uh, miles apart, uh, we should be going through quite easily to the next round. I don't imagine they'll pose too much of a threat. Who knows, when we go away from home in Europe, it can be difficult. But, you know, this is the worst possible draw we could have got out on, on this round. Because um, it's a furthest distance travel. I mean, it's quite far away. It's going to be a long journey for the team. A journey that's going to be made without a couple of key players. I don't imagine Bayata will be with us. Lustig, Tom Rogic, um, Christian Gamble, and not as much. Those players won't be with us um, straight away. So, you know, defensively, we've got a little bit to do. We've still got to do some work in the transfer window and, and try and get players back to full fitness and such as well. <laughs> Um, so you know it's not going to be it's not going to be fully um, in in the bag, but you know I don't imagine they'll pass they'll present much of a challenge. I think we should be winning. Um, but we're heading over to play Alice Kerr anyway, the Armenian champions. I said that two minutes ago that you know it's not fully in the bag, but basically is. But I don't want to speak too soon because you know what happens sometimes. You make a right titty yourself on this platform if you say the wrong things. Um, I'm saying the right thing. So we are playing around earlier, uh, and to try and make this video go a little bit longer. I mean, it is quite shocking, isn't it? You know, the, the Champions League. The Champions League. Uh, and yet us, the Scottish champions, um, have to play four qualifying rounds. It was bad enough for three. Now four. Um, I'm hoping to Christ that Celtic give us two fucking free games on the season ticket. I'll tell you that for nothing, because we have to pay for an extra one. I imagine we'll get this uh, the first one for free, but we'll have to fucking pay for the, the, the next round after that, which is quite annoying. But four rounds, absolute joke. Um, and it's quite annoying that you look... And obviously, there's there's a clear gulf of class. Uh, there's a difference there when it comes to the English Premier League and the Scottish Premier League, right? Of course there is. There's two different leagues, completely different. One run by one who has all these quality players and such. And then, and then there's a league where the teams below us, just quite frankly, aren't the greatest when it comes to a European standard. So, uh, yeah, I can understand that we've got to play a qualifier, but the fact that England's fourth place team only has to play one qualifying round and their third place team goes directly through, well, we have to sit here uh, uh, and walk away through four rounds just tiring our players for not only the Champions League but for our domestic campaigns is quite annoying. And I understand that you can't really apply the logic that all the champions just get to go through because then that would mean you have the fucking Macedonian champions, the Armenian champions and such. And yeah, when it comes to coefficients, it, it would kind of mess it up a little bit. But it is just annoying that it's four rounds for us. We're a massive club. The two biggest teams in Scotland are two of the biggest fucking teams in Europe. And I think UEFA should look at that. At the end of the day, when it comes to the Champions League, it's only going to be Celtic and Rangers who have got a chance of getting there while we only have one qualifying place. And I don't know why UEFA don't recognise the fact that it's two massive, massive clubs. Why is the coefficients just not a wee bit higher? And obviously we lack that quality to get the coefficients higher, but it is annoying. Um, and, and there's not much we could do. We just need to go through the four rounds. Uh, as irritating, but we'll, we'll take it. And I believe we will go to the group stage once again for the third year in a row. Hopefully, we continue to improve the team throughout the pre-season so that we can actually mount a challenge and avoid getting pumped 7 0 left, right, and centre. Um, that is that is what I'd like to see. Will we get it? Don't know. That's a different story. 
But get through these four rounds is the most important thing. It will be tiring. It will be a grind for the team. But I imagine the first couple of rounds, first three rounds perhaps, will be more of a walk in the park. Um, hopefully we can avoid the long journeys. But we've not been handed that straight away with the trip to Armenia. But, I mean, that's what you have to hope for. But, aye, we've got our first team out. The Armenian champions will be played. And uh, hopefully we get a big score margin at Celtic Park uh, and uh, they make these fucking four rounds worth it a wee bit and we can see some just some pure entertainment on the field and toy about with them a little bit. The, the way kind of PSG, Barcelona, such do with us. Let's well, just be in reverse for a change. If you have enjoyed, let me know uh, and like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts towards the Champions League qualifiers this year. Are we going to make the group stage and such? Yes, it's a shorter video. I may actually live stream tonight, so keep an eye out for that. But until next time, I'll see you all later. So I know I just said see you later, Laura, but what I didn't realise when I was making that video is the second round draw was going to happen as well. So there's a bit more for me to talk about. Um, that draw was made just about 10 minutes ago. It was 1 o'clock and obviously I made my video before that. So the second round draw has been done. If Celtic managed to get through against the Armenian side that I forgot the name of already... Uh, which we more than likely will, being honest. Uh, we are going to be either facing two teams. Valor Reykjavik of Iceland. I believe they're the Icelandic champions. They might not be, but I'm sure they are. Or Rosenborg. We meet again. We didn't get it easy. And it is going to be tough. That will be a tough game. And that's, that's the second round. Usually that's where we'd start. And we'd always get handed a, a piss easy team. But Rosenborg on the Arsenal boot. And if we lost that tie then we get no European football throughout the whole season. I'm comfortable win the tie. I think we are at a better point and we are a better team than what we could have been last year at the start of the season. I don't know. I feel like there's just if we bring in the right players as well, we could be a much better team. And I feel like the, the team have definitely improved and such since that point. Although we just came off the back of an invincible season. It's just, I, I don't know. I feel like there's been more cohesion and such in the team. We won't struggle as much against Rosenborg as what we did because we didn't even beat them at Parkhead. But they're no pushover and that could be a genuinely difficult tie. They're still the Norwegian champions. They're still a top side um, and they're not a far off our level. We are still ultimately a better team. We're higher ranked. We do a lot more. We get to the Champions League group stages. They don't really um, as we knocked about last year. But last year they took luck. It took a stroke of luck and one goal from James Forrest and that was all the difference. But this year I feel like we'll do it, do it better, I think we'll be a little more convincing and we showed that last year, we went well, very convincing the round after, we went and beat a stand of 5-0, just that tie, something didn't click. So I think we are a much better team than what we showed in that tie last year against Rosenborg. But undoubtedly they will set their team out to play very similar to what they did and they know for a fact they can run it close, Rosenborg. And I'm speaking hypothetically here, I'm speaking as if Rosenborg are already through, but they should be going through against an Icelandic side. Um, they're a better team, they're a bigger team, so they should be going through, but who knows, Icelandic, it could go anyway, we might even go out to the Armenians. I mean, you never know. But... Hypothetically, it should be Celtic versus Rosenborg yet again. A difficult tie, and it's a tie I look forward to previewing once more. Hopefully, this time we do it more convincingly. We can get a result at Parkhead. Um, last year, I just remember the atmosphere and such was dead and everything. It just was an off tie altogether, and I think this year it could be very different. I think we could get some big results, get a few goals into them, and uh, ultimately damage them. I think last year we were very, heading into the season, we were very unprepared at the back as well. You know, the, the injuries that filled in and uh, you know, they were a makeshift baton at the back with fucking iron and stuff like that. You know, we weren't fully fit and we weren't fully there as a side. Um, whereas this year we could be a lot more together and, and, and just better as a team and as a unit to go through against Rosenborg. Um, but yeah, a, di a difficult second round to say the least. Um, probably one of the teams we'd like to avoid after last year, but you know what, we'll take it as it comes, I, I'm still sure we'll go through and I'm still sure we'll make the whole group stage, um, just time will tell if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, say that off, I can see you later again, right, bye.